Which one do we start with? I think... We we'll start with Waterfall Coliseum. Single battle, but level 30 open. And try this team. I mean, you'll see why. I'm going to use them in order, just to add a bit of a challenge, which likely isn't going to go well, because I remember I tried this team once in rank 7, and that went, eh, the too great. But I feel like, in a way, rank 8 has better items, more chances of same things like Citrus Berry, and some good moves, but maybe things will work out better for me. I lost that recording by accident anyway, so... I have another reason to try it again this time on stream and potentially the YouTube videos. If you're watching this on YouTube, hey, here you go. Natural gift on the Gyarados, okay. Well, they got me to 1 HP. I don't mind as long as they don't do something else. Nope. Welcome to the Fear Team. Fear. F E A R. Focus Ash, Endeavor, Quick Attack, Radata. It take it. But it's not just Radata that can use this strategy. It's got a few more Pokemon the with a few different moves as well. Although not all of them can be at level 1 when doing it, which is why I have two of my Pokemon at a higher level. Level 1 is generally where you want to be at, though. Alright, Mankey is another Pokemon that can do it. The idea is, they move first, hit you into your Focus Sash, you endeavor to get them to 1 HP, and then use priority moves such as Quick Attack, Extreme Speed, Vacuum Wave, or Sucker Punch to deal the final bit of damage. And considering you always do at least one damage, everything should work out. Now there are a lot of weaknesses with the strategy, for example if the opponent is holding a Citrus Berry, if they are immune to your priority move, such as uh, Mankey has a lot of trouble with Ghosts, that's why Rattata also has Sucker Punch. Quick Attack is generally preferred, because it doesn't require the opponent to use an attacking move. But at least that way Rattata has a chance to hit Ghosts. Um, if, the opponent, yeah, if the opponent has a Citrus Berry and they heal, that works out for them. Uh, hail, sandstorm damage, uh, rough skin, things like that, mess you up. Um, poison, if the opponent just doesn't attack and get you to 1 HP, then that ruins your strategy as well. And there's more things to come up with too. If, if they use a priority move, for example, if they use quick attack, that could be really troublesome. So far, with the Gyarados and whatever we just had, the Vaporeon, Things have just worked out, and they've used none of the things that work against me. So, this, unless they now have a priority move, which I don't think a Ludicolo can actually learn. Um, yeah. This was a pretty easy win. So this is how things can happen, even against things like Lugia and Garatina and Ho-Oh, whatever. So, this team, out of the weaker teams I have, this team has the highest chance of winning against the biggest legendary Pokemon because of the strategy. But it's also pretty easy to fail, which I assume we'll see some of later on. And because I want to use them all in order, the three that I haven't used yet, Chimchar, Polyroth, Wormadam, those are the ones that I'll start with now. And you'll be seeing that Polyroth and Wormadam aren't level 1 because neither of them can be obtained at that level. Wormadam is level 20 because it just does, you can't obtain it before level 20. You take a Burmy, it evolves at level 20. That's how early you can have a Wormadam. Poliwrath normally, I think, is level 25 that a Poliwhirl, um, no, that a Poliwhirl because of Poliwhirl, and then you use Water Sun and Poly to make a Poliwrath. But in Hard Gold Soul Silver, you can actually use the, using either the Good or Super Rod, you can catch a Poliwhirl at level 10. That's how Poliwrath is obtainable at level 10. Surf from a Slow King, a water type, on this little baby level 1 Chimchar should absolutely murder it. But that's not happening because it holds a little Massive sash thingy. So, Focus Ash. 
It lets me to survive, and that's problem problematic as well. Leftovers. Because I wanted to use Vacuum Wave to win it, but I, I expect leftovers to be somewhat regular. If I would have known this, I might have gone like Toxic into Endeavor, but then again, they're probably still first. I need to use Toxic now because no way Vacuum Wave is going to do more than one damage. I could end, like, Endeavor into something else, but then they just heal off again, so I need Toxic and hope it just, I hope it just works. But it's very likely they will just Surf again, take out Chimchar, and then that's it. That's how easy the strategy can be beaten. If I know that the opponent has Citrus Berry leftovers, anything like that, beforehand, some of these Pokemon have to move Swagger, and that, that move can then use the element of luck to hopefully take the opponent out. Still need to be lucky, still needs to hit the Swagger. I think it's 90% accurate. And then the opponent needs to hit itself with Confusion, but the chance at least exists. The blue corner barely holds on. Now because I want my Pokemon to be at level 1, or at least the lowest level possible, I play this team only on level 30 open, because the other difficulty setting uh, is level 50 all. And as you can expect, level 50 all means everything is level 50, including Rattata and Mankey and stuff. Which still makes it possible for the strategy to work, but it's a lot less likely. So I played on level 30 open. Problem with that is, the difference between like Wormadam and the level 30s, like it's 10 levels and the others still have a lot more chance of Wormadam and Wormadam stats aren't great. But it's a lot more likely that if the opponent doesn't have great offensive moves or they're not offensively trained, Wormadam isn't going to be hit into 1 HP. Which can be pretty troublesome. So we'll see how that goes. Do they have a good fighting move for me? They have Rock Slide. It's pretty good. But the, let's see how far that hits me. Into 1 HP with the looks things. I'm happy with that. Just don't flinch me. Because that can be annoying too. Roman unfortunately doesn't learn anything like Vacuum Wave or Quick Attack or Aqua Jet. So it needs to depend on the opponent using an offensive move. If they would have had Toxic or something like that, this would not have worked. One more win, and victory will be claimed. The fourth set of Pokemon have appeared. Radata gets another shot. Ooh. Megahorn is strong, but the little level one Radata survives. Because then I had a ghost step, I can just use quick attack to finish it off. Right out to beat Heracross. And that's the second match one. Game, set, and match. It's an absolute victory for the blue corner. This is an important battle for both trainers. It's time to think about a cautious battle strategy. And now, the battle begins. A fierce blow. The blue corner barely holds on. The blue corner cannot move. Yeah, so that isn't really um, helping either. I have to hope they just miss with like Blizzard. They try Blizzard. 
I was like, oh, they missed because they didn't. It didn't immediately go into an animation, but that's the thing about Fling. It waits a bit. So yeah, Manky didn't stand much of a chance with that fake up. The blue corner has lost the first round. Swine up, let's go. The second set of Pokemon have appeared. A fierce blow. The blue corner barely holds on. A fierce blow. It's a direct hit. Swine up with another win. Alright, tied it back up. Wait. We need either Wormadam or Polaroth. We need at least one of them to win if you want to win this match. Because if Chimchar wins, one of the other two still has to. And if Chimchar loses, they both have to. And I don't have that much faith in Wormadam, actually. And Polaroth was the one that lost last time. Let's see. That's what I like to see, just a move that doesn't flinch me, that doesn't heal them, that it doesn't have a chance to burn me, even if they get the boosts, I'm not worried. They either have like compound ice, I think, or speed boost. It's speed boost. Unfortunately, speed boost is just making you go first in your own speed bracket. Vacuum wave is one before you. So yeah. I feel like that's easily the least well known priority move, even though it was introduced in Gen 4. Yeah, there's Quick Attack and then Gen 2 got Extreme Speed, which, like, there's an Extreme Speed event, Dratini, uh, Arcanine uses it, there's some, other, some others that might, uh, Lucario, later on, um, then there's Aqua Jet, Gen 7 got Accelerock, uh, Mach Punch came in in Gen 2, okay, what else can I call? I feel like there's at least one more. And then there's Vacuum Wave. Mock Punch and Vacuum Wave were both introduced in Generation 2, uh, not 2, uh, in Generation... No. In fact, when did Vacuum... No, Mock Punch came in in Gen 2. Vacuum Wave came in in 4, I believe. So we're good. Yeah, but... It, it, we're good from the Hyper Beam. I don't mind that. Which it gives us extra chance as long as they don't have leftovers, because that still might be annoying. Luckily they don't. Yeah, Vacuum Wave feels the least well known. If I think about, oh, I want to have a Pokemon with a priority move, I think, I think Aqua Jet. A Sucker Punch, I guess, counts. Although Sucker Punch is a bit different from the rest. From the blue corner, Wormadam, and from the red corner... I think because it's rank 8, the, the opposing Pokemon are a lot more likely to have good moves. Think your Surfs, your Thunderbolts, your Psychics. Which makes it a lot more likely for things like Polyroth and Wormadam to actually hit 1 HP instead of just being hung up by like half because something like a Ludicolo doesn't have anything better than Facade. And that works out for me because that actually makes them more able to do their thing. And Wormadam's not one two out of the two out of the two. It's just let's see, Polyrath lost the first one and then Um one after Radata. Mankey, Mankey lost one of them. I'm 
and from here on, it's the third time each of the Pokemon will be used, starting with Rattata. Can Rattata make a 3 out of 3? Swallow might have a quick attack, though. The blue corner barely holds on. Massive and naturally, because they're level 30, they're going to be way faster than me. So if we both use a priority move like Quick Attack, they might do it. Oh, they get increased attack. Not necessarily into Guts, but... Okay, got it. They didn't use Quick Attack. Wait a minute. Rad to makes it 3 out of 3. The blue corner has two wins so far. One more win, and victory will be claimed. The third set of Pokemon have appeared. Oh, wait, I just thought. It, it doesn't have to be the same Slowking, but it's like it's pretty likely this strain actually used has been randomized to have the same Slowking, so then it has leftovers. If this has less uh, leftovers, it's gonna... no, it doesn't have leftovers. It has a citrus berry, which means Endeavor still gives me the highest chances if they don't use some luck, so because then I can use Vacuum Wave next time. I guess it's better than leftovers, but yeah, that doesn't work. Like, if Mankey would have been, like, if Wormadam would have been in Mankey's place, Wormadam with a Sucker Punch, especially on a Psychic type like Slowking, might have had a chance of KOing anyway. Especially with the Leftovers. Because it's level 20, but Mankey, no chance. Unfortunately, there's one out of three for Mankey. Go Swineb. Who can actually hit the Glasgow four times super effectively, but it's not going to do much. Poison job that can poison. Just don't poison me. Critical hit. I'm fine with that. I'm like, ooh, no. This is like my instant reaction, but it's not bad because I'll survive it. If anything, the crit is good to make sure that I get to 1 HP, although I really should, even if it's a normal tackle from that glass score. Now, the glass can learn tackle, but you probably get the point. Four times super effective. One damage. Enough to take you out. It couldn't take it. It's down. Swine up goes three out of three. That's good news. The game is now over. It's an absolute victory for the blue corner. Mankey lost two, Polyrath lost one. Swine up ran it to three out of three. With that, we move on to the fifth match, which is already farther in than with uh, on rank 7, because I think on rank 7 I ended up losing in the third match. From the blue corner, Chimchar. And from the red corner, Scizor. Such energy. Scizor, what I'm first thinking of is Bullet Punch. However, Bullet Punch was introduced for Scizor. This is also really bad. Actually, no, Razor Wind is a charge move. It's not like Focus Punch where they move that. I can just Endeavor again next turn. I'll be good. As long as they don't flinch me. Um. Um, I'm thinking Bullet Punch with Scissor. It's a very Scissor move. Very common on Scissor. However, Scissor didn't get to learn that move until Pokemon Platinum. And because this game was released to go alongside Diamond and Pearl. Not really, it was released afterwards, but only Diamond and Pearl were out at the time. No Platinum, no Hard Gold, no Soul Silver. So Scissor could not learn Bullet Punch. You can, like, put a Bullet Punch Scissor in the game and then use it, but I don't expect the AI Scissor to have Bullet Punch. Would be great on some of the scissors, and they probably would have been programmed in. Would bullet punch have been possible? But it's not. 
So, I'm not too afraid of that. The Caesar can still have quick attack. I don't think that many Caesars, especially at rank 8, will have quick attack. They have more generally useful moves, which in this case, I think they might have won a quick attack, but it's situational. The second set of Pokemon have appeared. A fierce blow. The blue corner barely holds on. Massive damage. The third set of Pokemon have appeared. A fierce blow. Such amazing power. <sighs> so that Absol doesn't have great things. And the unfortunate thing is he hit me for just over half damage. The red corner barely holds on. And they resist dark, so Circuit Punch is not likely to do too much. Although I feel like I have to try. Maybe with a critical hit I have a chance. An impressive move. Nope, not at all. Not a That'll be War Madame's first loss. Round and take the battle. The fourth set of Pokemon have appeared. Ratata, can you go four out of four? Did still you, Chimchurn, Swine up that have gone three three? Can Ratata make it four? Polyrath is 2, Mankey is 1, Wormenum is 2. 3 out of the babies are doing pretty well. Now Radator goes 4 out of 4, the originator, Fear, Pokemon. I'm excited about this one. And not just because Radator is doing well, but some of the others are really doing well. I keep winning. This could easily turn around with a few leftovers or um, citrus berries or ghost types. Toxic strategy, because that would mess me up. Anything that's called a bomb of snow, he powered on Tyranitar. They will mess me up here as well, so I'm just hoping I don't see them. More grass types than Cloaking. Like, I understand that every, like, Coliseum has some sort of a type theme. Like, you'll see more of electric and rock and stuff in Crystal Coliseum. And you'll see quite a bit of ground and fire in Magma Coliseum. And a bit more normal, maybe, in Main Street Coliseum. But there's just so much grass and water here. It's like, that's the second leaf, you know? That's the second, second executor, the second or third Tangrowth. The second Vaporeon, the third Slow King. Come on, have a bit more of a variety. Please? Like, it lets me win, but it's a lot more fun to play this game when there's more variety. I wouldn't mind it if... Also, in the battles in between, it's a little less, a little less obvious what the, what the main types are, in the Colosseum. I'd like to be able to fight Electivires, and 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 Groudon in this Colosseum. Although Groudon won't appear in in level 30 open, it's just in level 50 all. But I'd like the possibility to be there in the later ranks, and not just hey, look, there's a Kyogre. And there's a Palkia, and have fun, and potentially Giratina if you're lucky. A fierce blow. 
The blue corner barely holds on. Alright, now don't use Aqua Jet Floats, so do not use Aqua Jet. They didn't use Aqua Jet, Mankey actually gets a win, makes 2 out of 4. Mankey will at least have one other appearance. Yeah, because even if this would have been the finishing battle for match 5, Mankey would have had at least one appearance because he used them all on her own. If would have won 3-0 in both match 6 and match 7, match 7 being the final, Mankey would have still been the third Pokemon in the final. The second set of Pokemon have I do hope that Raditz is one of the Pokemon in the final. Preferably even the one that finishes it off, but I'm going to keep using them in order. A fierce blow. The blue corner barely holds on. Come on, swine him. Vaporeon being Vaporeon makes it pretty likely that this will work. They can use quick attacks, Eevee can learn that, but it's unlikely that a Vaporeon would have it. Although Vaporeon does have luck. I felt so good and I was hyping it up. But leftovers makes very much sense in a Vaporeon. I'm very surprised it isn't a Vice Beam. But yeah, that's unfortunately the end of Swine Up. Putting Swine out of 3 to 4. 3 out of 4 record. Radacha and Chimchar remain as the two with a perfect record so far. Time to focus. The next round will determine the outcome. The third set of Pokémon have appeared. The blue corner barely holds on. Massive damage. Come on, Chimchar. Four out of four. Nice. But I haven't seen you here in this Coliseum so far, and I'm pretty sure the one or two of these trainers can appear are ghost trainers. And especially if they have Shedinja, that makes their strategy a lot more interesting. Because Endeavor doesn't work against Shedinja. Now, Shedinja only has one HP. So, the two of the Pokemon, Vormadam and Rats have Sucker Punch, they can use. Although they have to help the Shedinja attacks at that point, and doesn't have a Focus Sash. Um... Oh, sleep powder, that's not good. Hope to hope I wake up soon. Um A few of the Pokemon have Toxic, a few of the Pokemon have Swagger, so those are all options. I think five of the six Pokemon can actually beat Shedinja one on one. The blue corner still can't move. It's down and out. Mm. It's not it's great two news. Two, two out of two, two. so Wormadam has to finish it off for us. Wormadam's track record, especially in rank seven, everything. isn't too great. I have a perfect point from, from match one, I remember. It's another effing slow king. Well, and there is probably still my best bet. And at least, as I did say earlier, Wormadam with Sucker Punch can do quite a lot against slow king. In fact, on a level 20, it doesn't matter too much. I am into 1 HP, I like that. Let's see what kind of item that slow king has. Citrus Berry leftovers or something else. Leftovers better than Citrus. It's leftovers, and they've only used Surf to this point, and I expect the level 20 against level 30 to be able to deal 1 16th of its health plus 1 in damage. Let's go. Sucker Punch takes him out. Sloking gone. We're into match 6. Nice job, Wormadam. Alright, everyone will get at least one more appearance. Two Pokemon still a 4 out of 4. Radita Chimchar.
Ghost Trainer would be interesting. I would like that. No, it's Marina already. What? Did I completely miscalculate, misremember things? I must have at some point. I said it was five on a, like match five on a match six or something else. I don't know. Okay, so not everyone will get an appearance because we're not going to see Worm at anymore. We may see Chimchar. I hope we don't, but then because we've won the first three, not because we've lost the first three. Now, Marina always has at least one water type. Always has at least a ground type, and I think always has at least a bug. But then water is always, I think, in the bottom right slot, and at least a ground in the bottom left. I think that's sort of her thing. Let's see what we can do. Radata, Gyarados. Did, wait, that's how match one started, wasn't it? The very first match started with Radata, Gyarados. That gives me good hopes. That was natural gift. This is fire blast. Okay, just don't burn me. Because that can burn. If it doesn't burn me, I'm good. If it burns me, I'm just... That's the end of the fight. And this is the final, so unless we lose... This is the final time we'll see Radata. Five out of five! The original fear Pokemon does it. And gives us a lead in rank eight of level 30 open of Waterfall Coliseum. Looking good. Looking good. You might think, oh, could this strategy work in a different Coliseum, like Crystal or Magma or uh, Main Street or whatever? Potentially. Although, this team really is made for 1v1s. Because as you can expect, even if this Mankey would beat this Heracross, Mankey would, would be able to do nothing because he goes second against the next thing. So, I need to continuously win the Focus Sash matches to win the match that way. Let's say Heracross beats Mankey because of something. Let's say it's heavy, it has leftovers or something. Then it beats the Mankey, then sure my Rattata can maybe beat Heracross, although that doesn't really work. Let's say Heracross had the Citrus Berry. Heracross beats Mankey, but then my Rattata might beat Heracross, but then they still have the lead, and I don't have the I can't use the strategy twice with one Pokemon, because it's only one Focus Sash. A fierce blow. The blue corner uh, just holds. don't have leftovers. Mankey wants to win, I want to win. On vacuum wave, Whoosh. there we go. It went down. The blue corner has two wins so far. One more win, and victory will be claimed. No, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I, I, this is actually the second time I'm doing waterfall. Let's see him with this. I was the first of those in the video, you can't maybe not tell. I might have said it at the start, but this is live streamed on Twitch. So, sometimes I might just say things as a standard thing I would do in a recording, like standard and uh, not really announcements, commentary on the game. But sometimes I'll reply to one of the messages in chat as well. Yeah, this is the second time. I have done this in um, rank 7 as well, that didn't go too well. I had more varied opponents, I feel, as well. Maybe that's because of the lower rank. I don't remember Relicanth. Relicanth might still appear in level 30 open uh, rank 8, but it just it didn't appear on one of the opponents. And in match 1, and in match 7, the final, and I sure totally didn't connect there, but hey. Maybe it clipped the tip of the wing and that was enough for 1 damage. Perfect victory. I do want to do the perfect points matter in terms of the uh, poke coupon or at the end. I'm not sure, but if it does, I just got myself another perfect point. End it with two, didn't lose once. Lost a single, like, lost individual battles, but didn't lose a match. It was either round five or, match five or six, that was closest. 2,000 points. Let's go. Alright, I'll save the game and then we'll go to the next Coliseum because there's still a lot of things left to do.